Hey everybody, I wanna tell you a story. <clears throat> when I uh, was in high school, um, we lived in the second floor of a three family house and I had um, uh, a sister, uh, much younger, and uh, uh, two brothers. And uh, we lived in a two bedroom apartment. And so there were six of us in a two bedroom apartment. And so <clears throat> the living room became uh, my parents' bedroom and the dining room became the new living room. And, you know, we crammed into the bedrooms there. And um, in any event, uh, no shower, just a roll rim tub, you know. Uh, and uh, when I graduated high school, I was out of there. And uh, what I did was I went to move in with my grandfather. And he lived in uh, Stratford, which was, you know, more of a residential town um, than Bridgeport where we lived. And, um, you know, the houses were 15 feet apart instead of, you know, five feet apart. And to me, that was progress. You know, I was moving into the suburbs. I was, you know, had my own room. And my grandfather, he had a little Cape, Cape Cod house with two bedrooms upstairs. And one was empty. So I moved in there and uh, had my own bedroom. And, you know, to me, that was progress, right? That, that felt like progress. It felt like forward motion. And I think we're happy when we feel forward motion. We're happy when we feel progress. And when we feel stuck, we're not happy. When we feel like we're, you know, doing the same thing over and over, when we're uh, living the same week and the same month and same year over and over and over again, and we don't feel like we're making any progress. Now, of course, today, if I lived at my grandfather's house in his spare bedroom at 52 years old, that would not be progress, right? <laughs> but at the time, it felt like progress. And, um, and it was, absolutely was. So, um, let me ask you, do you feel like you're making progress? Or do you feel like you're doing what you've done for so long over and over again? So uh, I've mentioned these two questions you know, before. Are you doing the same thing as you did yesterday? As you've done so many times before, you're doing as a leader in your business, are you showing up and doing the same things that you've done before? And if the answer is yes, you're probably not making a lot of progress. Um, and the next question is, is what you're doing today going to make a difference tomorrow? Is what you're doing today gonna to make next week better, next month better, next year better? Will it have a lasting effect? We call those legacy projects. If I can do something today that will have a positive effect next month and six months and a year and two years, that's a legacy project. So I'll be benefiting from my work as a leader two years from now from work that I did today. And hopefully I'm benefiting today from work that I did as a leader a year ago and two years ago. That's how I know I'm doing the right work. So are you doing something that will change tomorrow? Are you executing on these ideas that you're being presented with? It's not always gonna be like, oh, you know, we're going like this, even when we try. We try, we make a mistake. Okay, you made a mistake. You didn't execute very well. You got resistance, you learned something, okay? Notice the results you're getting and regroup, try again. Notice the results you're getting, try again. Notice the results you're getting, try again. And in this way, we improve our leadership ability and our earning ability as leaders. So what are you doing today? Even if it's something small that's gonna make tomorrow better, is, you know, okay, we lettered a truck. We lettered a truck and we have an exercise on how to letter trucks properly and uh, part of our marketing ideas at the School of Entrepreneurship. But look, we lettered a truck this week. We got it lettered really well. It looks beautiful. It's a rolling billboard. That could feel like progress. We created personal profile sheets for all of our salespeople and wow foreman greeting cards for all of our foreman. That's what we did this week. That's progress. That's making tomorrow better. We, we got great yard signs. We redesigned them. We got them printed, they look great, you can notice them all over town, and that's progress, right? 
It seems like a small thing, but that's progress. And these steps compounded on top of each other will make tomorrow better. Or maybe it's something big that you accomplished. We, we created a new brand. We have an exercise on branding and how to uh, create a brand that inspires trust, it's memorable, and uh, tells what you do. And, and you did that, and you did it really well. And this brand is going to take you into the next you know, 20 years. Maybe it's that you uh, hired a key person. That's a big deal. Maybe um, you trained your salespeople. Maybe it took 10 weeks, but you got them through the perfectus system. Okay, you're going to start all over, but, you know, these guys are thinking in a whole new way. That's big progress right there, okay? So, you know, saying I'm too busy to make change, to make improvement, is exactly what got you where, to where you are today. You're holding on to the person that you are or that you used to be, and you don't want to let that person go because you're attached to that, uh, those habits. You've got to do something to make progress, okay? You set your goals, and you've got to make progress in transforming your business from what it is today to what you want it to be. Make those changes. Do those different things. Make tomorrow better. Make progress today right now, today.